Now I'm joined by Amy Ryan of Ula. Amy, I suppose you've been waiting a long time to get into a final after successive semi-final defeats. What does it feel like to actually be facing into the final? Yeah, sure. It's an unbelievable feeling to finally um, bridge that gap and just cross the line even after losing the last four semi-finals in a row. Um, that was probably our main goal at the start of the year was just to maybe get over that line um, as the first goal. Uh, so definitely delighted that we have um, come one step further anyway this year and um, dying to go one now on Sunday in the final. And looking on that semi-final against Mungo St. Paul's, you would be seen as outsiders um, and you'll probably be seen as outsiders again this weekend. Is that something that you enjoy going to game as? Uh, yeah, do you know what? We've kind of come under the radar as well, I think. Um, we're definitely the underdogs, which I don't mind that tag at all. Um, do you know, there's maybe, I suppose, maybe less pressure on you in a way. Um, and we have been underdogs all year as well, and especially because Drum have beat us last year in the semi-final too. So we knew meeting them on Sunday that we would be the underdogs. Um, look, we don't give it much thought either. Do you know, it's a game at the end of the, at the, end of the day, so we just have to show up and um, keep doing what we've been doing. And obviously throughout the year you've been given breaks um, every second weekend and if you were to buy then it was four weeks. But it's like a quick turnaround to the final. What's the, the mood in the camp like? It's just getting the bodies ready. Nothing new being done really, I suppose. Yeah, do you know, we have um, we had a, a long break um, and then a quarter final, and then like two weeks to a semi-final, which was great actually. That break was well needed because you're doing a lot, you know, in training and in preparation for that time of the year. And then the weather's changing and it's getting tougher on the ground. Um. So we were delighted for the two week break for the semi final, and do you know what? The week has absolutely flown now. So in a way, it's great because you don't have time to be thinking about it. In a way, um, and it's all about recovery this week. Do you know, we keep to the, we stick to the plan, keep doing what we've been doing, and just really making sure that our, that the bodies are recovered properly because um, November football is you know slightly different to the summer as you can imagine. But um. Yeah, no, we're flying it now, um, training again tonight. So, um, yeah, full steam ahead. And obviously, you're playing the defending champions from Broadford. You played them earlier on in the championship and lost by three points. Is there, there's obviously lessons you learned from that game that you'll take in this and that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, and, you know, and we were up as well, uh, I think, at the last water break in that match. But you know what? When it's not knockout too, it's it's a bit different and there's a different feel to it. Um, and we hadn't played them since last year in the semi final, So, uh, it's great to even play them once and just to just to know maybe where you stand. But um, we'll be hoping now to make that gap a lot smaller now on Sunday. And you obviously regrouped from that game with a big win over Father Casey's. He scored 4-14 in the day. Is that when you really start to believe this this could be the year that we get past the semi-final and not only that into the final and maybe more? Yeah, do you know what? We um, we've great belief anyway, um, like amongst ourselves. It just hasn't kind of maybe happened for us as a team. Um, and then we were, I think it was a draw at half time against Father Casey. So we we weren't happy with where we were on the scoreboard at that stage um, going into the second half. But like we've been doing all year, we kind of rally and um, correct our mistakes there and then rather than waiting for it and um, had a great second half. So um, and then as well in the in the second half in against Munger, they came back at us, too. So we just tried to keep our composure. But um to be honest, we do have great belief um, in camp amongst ourselves because, you know, we have flake and footballers as well. So, um, but it, it kind of all has to come together as well. And, you know, it kind of a few things have to work out for you and go in your favour. So um, definitely we'll have to be strong mentally going in on Sunday as well. And you put up big scores this year, 216 the first round. We mentioned that 414 and even the 110 against from Broadford. I suppose the Gaelic rounds will suit you as a pitch. Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, the Gaelic grounds is wide, um, and we're definitely like a running style team, um, where we have a fairly fast few forwards as well, and uh, maybe in the middle of the field. So, I definitely think it will suit us. Um, Captain Moore was wide the other day as well for the semi final, and it did suit us. Um, and this year, I suppose, yeah, our our scoring has definitely come on um, a massive percentage since last year, even. Um, so hopefully now we'll we'll transfer it onto the scoreboard for Sunday. And finally, the game is being streamed live. It just kind of shows the growth of ladies' football in Limerick that a game of this magnitude will be shown live to people who can't make it. Yeah, sure, it's fantastic. And even to have, um, you know, our supporters and fans going back to the matches because um, a lot missed out on them last year. And so they were streamed as well online, which um, was a massive success. People from all around the world could see it. You know, I have family in so many different countries and they could all watch them. 
so um for Sunday it's fantastic that one we get to play in the Gaelic grounds um and two then for it to be streamed so because a lot of people might not be able to go or some of the older um people are family members um people in the club so it's absolutely fantastic and you know it's well 